way you make out time for your market or for your business connections, make out time for this place. Ah, I hear you, Papa. Madam, your dream life will be clear. A lot of things are going to happen. Amen. How are you going to overcome a lot of things? You will see it. Yes, In the dream and also at times, you come here, you begin to hear what? You come to this place. When you know that things, your, your anointing, you are not clear with whatever thing you are doing. Or you want God to not answer you without wasting time. Come to this place. Disturbing me yes. about stubbornness. Number two, I see pain was to go far because of stubbornness. My husband is a lecturer, but he's not here now. That has been depriving him of his promotion for more than 10 years now. A big delay, big delay, big delay. Delay, delay, delay. They don't promote him because of the stubbornness. Yes, sir. Somebody shout. What I am doing, oh, yes, sir. You can use it to guide yourself, oh, uh, so simple. Mercy Land Arena of Solution and Power. My names are Roland Agbe Agam. I am from Delta State here. I am here to return all the good things God has done for me by saving my life. Now, the it goes like this. Last month, to be precise, on 15th. On 15th, I had a very fatal accident within this state, near my area. And God saved me, my life. Because why I decided to come and testify is that Papa normally pray for his partner in which I am a member. And at least that prayer worked for me. There is no wayo in this commission. And uh, if you are clapping for this great God, you can do better than that. You can go ahead. So... Papa normally pray that uh, he will not lose any of his partners and I'm one of the beneficiaries of that prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, you can see from my left there, that is me standing after the fatal accident. In the night, I was driving, I was coming, there was no caution, no sign towards evening like that. I ran into a packed, uh, this tr is a truck, this uh, tipper that normally carries sand around my area there. And uh, the man also is from a village close to my village. So the issue, if you look at it, it has some connotations, but there is nothing I can do over there. People that saw that vehicle say, is this man alive? I am the bad, that person standing there. I came out live and direct. And, you uh, came out live and direct. And uh, I want to still tell everybody that is here that if you look at that picture, that is the scrap here. It, that is the only place I sustain injury. Put those hands together for Jesus. What word of advice would you have to give to this person? This commission, except you have not come. That is where all those evil talks and whatever that is flittering here and there. But until you have come here, you will know there is a great grace in this commission. 
truly there is a great grace in this commission. Do you believe that? If you believe that, I want you to say a big amen. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Aga Omaji from Benue State, Otupo. My testimony goes like this. One day, my son, Aga Oche Emmanuel, told me one day that he registered himself for NDA. That is Nigerian Defense Academy. I said, ah, uh ah, -uh. and we don't know anybody whom may go before us. He said, God is in control, which I believe that God is in control. He, God of Papa J, my father, which I'm a partner here, they were invited for Medica. I gave him this oil of Papa J. Here is it. That the oil, let him be using it and it will go before him. All will be well with him. To the glory of God, he went with it. And no shaking. Some of them were driving away. Till he graduated successfully. There was no problem. Right now, right now, he's a second lieutenant in Nigeria Army. Somebody put his hands together for Jesus! Somebody say power! Power! Somebody say grace! Grace! Somebody say Ewele! Ewele! Somebody say oh Wama Wama Wow! Wama Wama Wow! Put those hands together for Jesus! Look. My son says that that God will go before us, of which I believe. Again, some persons ask me, how many million? Do I spend before my son was enrolled mm. into Nigeria Defense Academy? Honestly, I don't give a chichi to anybody. Heaven and earth knows. Somebody I put those hands together for Jesus. Now I want to ask you, what is the current rank of your son? Very good. He is a second lieutenant serving in a choir bomb. Serving in, in a choir bomb, a second left panel. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. All right, sir, uh, there. So we can see some pictures on the screen. Uh, please, can you throw more lights on those wonderful pictures that we can see on the screen right now? Okay. Okay. After they are passing out a uh, parade, you can see myself with himself there. The other one, he was single. That was during the COVID-19 period. That's why both of us dressed like that. And the third one there with his uh, uh, credentials. Now you can see. He's you can a second see. left hand in Nigeria Army. An officer. Somebody put his hands together for Jesus. The advice I have to give to the viewers all over the world and those in the church with me now is that whatever problem you have whatever problem you have each every one of us that is in arena of liberty now is problem one problem or the other that brought us even the viewers is one problem or the, or the others led, led them to watching mercy city whatever problem you have come to mercy city you will have your solution in jesus name wow. mercy land arena of solution and power my name is aj godwin paul asf1 federal fire service abuja but i'm from benway state my testimony goes like this I've been having challenge, financial challenge in my place of work, in my life. Nothing is moving before I came to this commission. As you can see on the board, my parents are living in this small house for like 25 years. I could not do anything about it. 
any time I see the house, I'll cry and I could not do anything about it. And the house has been there. Sometimes to go home, I'm scared to go home because there is no place to stay. And I keep on praying. Keep on praying. When I joined this commission, I began to pray. I began to pray. I cried to God. And I joined partnership. And I began to pray. And roads started opening gradually, gradually. When roads started opening, I was able to build the one in Abuja where I'm living. But I could not be able to build at home. I don't know what is the problem. Anytime I gather money to go home to build, when I get home, something will just happen. I will not understand myself. I will just be rushing back and every, ah, I will not be able to build. I said, I will call my wife. I will tell my wife. This thing, I cannot do this project. Now something, I don't have peace. I don't have peace. And she will say, come back. Don't worry. You will build one day. Come back. I will go back to Abuja. 2019, December, I have a cousin that went home to build from Port Harcourt. Emmanuel Onoja is an inspector of police. Everybody knows him in Port Harcourt. Anti, Anti-terrorism squad. If you are a police in Port Harcourt, you know this person I'm telling you. He went home to build the same three bedroom. On getting to tiling level, this guy had an accident and died. Mysteriously like that. <laughs> so I was like, what is this? I came back and I told my dad, I need to change this house. My dad said, my son, calm down first. You won't understand. I said, what is the problem? So my wife now advised me last day that I should upgrade to senior partner. That anything junior cannot do, senior can do it. Because I used to listen to testimony of senior partner. I said, ah. I was like, okay, anyhow you say so, let's do it now. Anything that comes up, thank God we are all together. I upgraded to senior partner last year, October. And I went to Mount Carmel. I cried. I said, God of Prophet Jeremiah, do this. This is just the only challenge I have. I have everything as a, as a personnel. But I don't have house at home to go. Even my children, they began to ask me, Daddy, why are you not taking us home for Christmas? See, no place to stay. So I, when I enrolled as a senior partner, pray in the mountain, I got home that October. On reaching home October, my wife said, as long as you have become senior partner, you will build that house. I said, Amen. <laughs> to the glory of God, I went to meet an architect. He gave me the drawing, three bedroom, all in suit, in the village. I told him I want to build the house. He said, but this... 2022, you want to view this kind of house? I say yes, and I want the house to be completed in a month. He says it's not possible. <laughs> I say it's possible. And that was how I called my engineer in the village, sent the plan to him. And the engineer, I gave him time limit. I say it's 30 days. 30 days is 30 days. My father, Prophet Jeremiah, built any structure in less than 30 days. So I will build this small building in less than 30 days. I don't know if you really understand the father he's talking about. If you know that father is your father, if you know the name of that father, somebody call his name. Say, Senior, Prophet, Jeremiah, her motto, fulfill. Somebody scream, glory to Jesus. Put those together for Jesus Christ once more. So, when I said the plan to the engineer, he mapped out the house. It's left for them to dig the foundation. That was on the 28th of October. Do you know anybody that comes to dig the ground, they will go that way. They will say, ah. they will not be able to dig that foundation. The guy, after five days, I say, how far? He say, man, these people will come. They will say, add money. I say, add for them now. He said, they will go. I say, ah. And that was how the thing is. Then my wife, now I told my wife, they cannot be able to dig this foundation. He said, I should carry that water of expansion and go home. I went home, on reaching home, I sprinkled it because I didn't tell any of them that I was coming. Immediately I sprinkled that water. Before the engineer would come to the side, they started, people started coming to dig the foundation. And the house commenced immediately. And 30 days, I finished the house. Oh my God! And someone is just sitting down like that. You have made promises this year. I want to assure you, because the grace is available, that your promise will come to pass. If you believe, can I hear an amen? Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. Sir, right now, how is your life now as compared of the past that you were before? So when the engineer called me on the 4th of December that they finished everything, tie, paint, I want to put ties on the outside. That is why I did not paint the outside. So I said, okay, I'm coming. On the 5th, I took off from Abuja with my car. I was driving home. On the 5th of December, Half the boundary between Benue and Nasarawa State, if you know Oweto Road, everybody knows that, around precisely 10.30 a.m. When I was going, 
at a point, I was not comfortable, but I couldn't stop because I need to go and see. Because I was just sending money, sending money, and I feel like. So my car started misbehaving. I was just seeing myself leaving the road, coming to the road, leaving the road, coming to the road. At a point, the start, car started some assaulting. Bukum, Bukum, I said, ah, my case is different. My case is different. God of Jeremiah, help me. God of Jeremiah, help me. God of Jeremiah, help me. Finally, he landed me on the dish. When I got to the dish, there was an evil boy following me behind. The guy stopped. He came. I came down from the car on scratch. No scratch. I was laughing. The guy called me. He said, no. The guy said, no, they should. Because other people came around. He said, they should hold me that. It's like I'm running mental. I said, no, I'm normal. I'm a son of prophet Jeremiah Omoto. He said, okay, one more, one more. I said, no wonder. Oh, my God. Tell your neighbor, no wonder. Oh. Say, now I know. Put the hands together for Jesus Christ. Decided to tow the car, pack it in one police station. I called my wife that I had an accident. He said, Okay, no problem. I should come back. That you know nothing will happen to me. That I'm a senior partner. I said, Okay, I didn't have scratch. I went back to Abuja. The following day, I went to Casta and picked the other car, you see, also. And I went home again. I went back home. The, that is after three days. Wait, sir. Let us hear you again. You said, After the accident, you went to a car stand the following day. And you did what? I bought another car. You bought another car. Let us see the car he's talking about. Look at it. Because the grace was too much. Money went flowing everywhere. Satan thought he had been trapped. But he did not know. The God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah has a huge house. Amount of money locked inside. That whatsoever the Satan has stolen, he is going to replace it. Look at it. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus Christ and scream for the Lord. Glory to Jesus. This is wonderful. That is the house in the village that I've been battling for almost 20 something years to rebuild. Then the second one you'll see now, this very picture now that my wife is sitting outside. That was when we went for the housewarming on the in the village on the 7th of January this year and, and it's completed then that is the car I had an accident with then this is where I'm living in Abuja that, that is my personal house in Abuja so this car now the new car I bought is here I came with it it's in Mercy City now I drove down from Abuja somebody so, put your hands together for Jesus Christ Mercy Land my word of advice to People watching me right away, both partners, business, civil servant, everybody, please. What small money cannot do, big money will do it. And what God or Prophet Jeremiah cannot do, I don't think he says this. Because to me, oh, it has been a body on me that anytime I always, anytime I think of going home, I lose my peace. But the testimony I'm giving today, so this is just a fraction of the testimony. I'm coming back to give testimony when my wife and my children will be standing with beside me because God has blessed me. God has embarrassed me. God has blessed me. God has embarrassed me. Celebrate this grace. Celebrate this grace. Mercy Lamb. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Yenny Francis. I work with Nigeria Air Force. The person behind me is my colleagues is who, I who come together from Edo State. I, I was studying in Niger State before my posting to uh, Edo State. So on my way, I've entered in, into the bandit. Inside the forest, the bandit took me to the forest, unknown destination. I went to the bush up to 200 kilometers in the bush in the night. People that know that Aochiro, that is uh, between Okene, some 51 kilometers to Okene. It took us to Bush. It's God of Prophet Jeremiah rescued me through the rest brand. This rescue band that I've seen. Somebody, can you put those hands together for Jesus Christ? If you are giving Jesus a shout of praise, you can do better than that.